Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Valensky with Back to Driving Markets. Yesterday was more or less Mayor Valensky standing markets because I have a car, but now I'm back to driving markets. So good morning. Welcome back. Um, okay, so yesterday the markets were absolutely rampant. They shot up from Wednesday morning from a low all the way yesterday to a high and looks like they're going to go higher. Why is that? Simply because there were some good positive figures came out um, regarding the think inflation might have peaked in the wholesale sector. Uh, therefore, that also had an impact. In addition, there were good employment figures in the States, which are the lowest since the pandemic. And all of that pushed market higher. It got the appetite for buying and just everyone started to buy and the Dow closed at over uh, 500 points yesterday, 1.36%, which is an amazing and fantastic recovery. Um, as I said, the markets are very, very volatile, so they could go either direction. Um, question was asked yesterday by one of my clients, why is it that gold has gone up and the markets are so strong? Surely when equities go up, then people abandon things like gold and they go into equities and therefore gold would have gone down. The reason why gold, you can see me there, the reason why gold goes up is because the inflationary pressures are still there. So if there's inflation, generally inflation brings about a lower value over time in your assets. So your value of your assets drops because of inflation. Therefore, people seek to protect themselves during inflation. And what do they do? They go and buy assets that protect them against inflation, which is gold. And therefore, gold shot up. So the fact that gold is shot up and equity shot up is a very, very strange phenomenon. Uh, as long as inflation stays high, got the sun in my eyes, as long as inflation stays high, then you're going to have a push on gold. All right, so gold is likely to go higher, in my opinion. Everything I say here is my opinion, and it's likely to go higher simply because you're going to have, you've still got inflationary pressures. Yesterday, Sweden, for example, reported inflation at 13 year high. There's only so long that you can go that inflation will rise and the, the central banks won't do anything about it yet. The central banks have got a problem because if they raise interest rates too aggressively, then that will damage already the fragile economies that people are suffering from at the moment. So there's a bit of a battle going on here and you could see inflation rising without the central banks doing anything in the near future simply because the economies cannot absorb the interest rate rise. Okay. Again, when it comes to trading, let's go back to trading. When it comes to trading, you have to allow for the market moving against you. If you are a buyer of the market and then the market goes down, you have to allow for that volatility for the market to eventually recover and put you back into profit. Same as you going short. Going short means you sell something you don't have. So you sell the market on the basis that you want it to go down and then buy it back cheaper later on. You have to trade in small enough parts with enough money on account whereby you can ride out the volatility. It's the same message I put through all the time. Finally, I want to say, remember, always deal only with regulated UK firms, regulated European firms, regulated North American firms, or regulated Australian firms. Do not deal with any company that is not regulated. I keep passing on this message on a daily basis, simply because there's too many scammers out there and you will have your money taken away from you. Okay, so this is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets. If you want to contact me, contact me on WhatsApp, on LinkedIn. Um, also, I'd like you to comment on the YouTube. Tell me what you'd like to talk about. Give me some feedback. I'm not getting enough feedback on YouTube. So give me some feedback. If there's any particular topic you want to talk about in financial markets, I'm happy to talk about it. All right, have a good day. Be careful out there. Good luck and we'll speak to you next week.